guys, welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to create some funny magic using Serum. There are some advantages when you catch a cold because you can create how you, uh, you can record how you, you know, blow your nose, for example. And you can record something similar like this sound. So yes, this is me blowing my nose. And what we can do here is trying to, you know, fiddle with the sound, try to time stretch or transpose it down and do, so do something with it to get prepared for uh, importing it into Serum. For example, if I warp it and transpose again down two octaves, and if I use the texture algorithm for the time stretch and the grain size, for example, around 73, you can get a sound similar to, that, to this. Which is great, but we still need to tweak it a little. For example, I love the OTT plugin, so just compress it. it. So it's great, but what I miss here is the top end. Of course you can tell that, or you can say that, why, I, why don't I use the Complex Pro and I will get a lot closer result to the original, but with a lot deeper tone. You know, I just don't like it. I just use the, I just like to use the texture algorithm here. And what I like to do is duplicate the channel and create or leave only the high end of the sound and add it back to the original. So for that, I like to use an EQ after the compression compressor, multiband compressor and just, you know, high pace the low and middle range and leave only the high. And just give it back to the original. They must be the same, but right now they are not. Oh, yes, this is for, for by wheel. Okay, so we have this sound here, what I, what I like, but there is a little problem here because the sound itself contains some pitch bending, which should be, you know, fixed by using several plugins, it, uh, it is up to you, whatever you have. I used Serum, uh, sorry not, I used Melodyne, so this is the final sound what I had. Because I just cut this, this section here. I mean I had and I used only this middle part here. Let me show you. So it has some pitch bending, what I, you know, get rid of using Melodyne. And this was the final sound, which is good, good enough to, <clears throat> to be imported into Serum because the key of the sound is A sharp zero. So we can now just import it back or not back, import it into Serum. Let's see plugins. There are a lot of stuff here. Very Serum. Here is it. So let's go to this pencil tool here, enter A sharp zero. And uh, I previously exported this sound. So right now I, I just need to, you know, drop it back. Let's morph in spectral and I love to use the X-Fade grid size stuff here. So what we are having now, similar to this, I always like to add a multiband compressor. So why not just bend it using a bend plus minus. It sounds really great. Let's make some alifo movement, you know. Just some kind of random stuff here. Or maybe not random, it is on you if you want to make... Oh. If you want to make your own custom wave shape or shape for the LFO, it's up to you. Anyway, I try, try to make it quick. And let's assign it to the wavetable position. But it's too quick. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, let's use a high pace filter. And let's drop the LFO onto it on the cutoff knob, but let's fix this to fix the 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 modulation type to not uh bipolar but unipolar. Okay, this is it. <clears throat> let's find the best position for the knob. That's it, great. Why not use a phaser? And also made the frequency. And the depth. Just give us a slight distortion. Okay, I kind of like it. So this is a great little growly here, made using made up using um, a sound, <laughs> a very weird sound where I blow my nose. This was the original. Let me show you again. And this is where it got, went. I think it's very nice, but if you want to tweak it further, it's up to you. What I like to do is dropping another OTT at the end of the chain. And uh, I have this rack here, a three band split rack. I used three EQ eights to separate the top, the middle, and the bottom frequencies. And I have two macros here, <clears throat> you know, to fine tune the bands for the low end, which determines the middle range, of course, too, at the same time. And for the high, high, high band. And what I want to use this up to is dropping a chorus on the top band. And maybe some saturation on the middle. But anyway, it's really up to you how to tweak further the sound. I think it's it's very good on its own. This bit warmer preset for the saturated plugin is really awesome. Oh, but I like to put it to the end of the or after the OTD. Anyway, so this is the sound. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, so you can see how awesome Serum is. I know I told it a thousand times, but uh, it really is. So thank you for your uh, thank you for watching my video and see you next time, guys. Bye bye.